वेलकम टू प्लायरोटेक यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक कमेंट्स एंड शेयर एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू क्लिक द बेल आइकन इफ यू क्लिक द बेल आइकन यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन व्हेन आई पोस्ट न्यू वीडियो ओके टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बर्न ओनली प्रिंसिपल द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ प्रेशर डिफरेंसल ऑफ सापसोनिक एयर फ्लो was discovered by daniel bernoulli that's why this principle is named as bernoulli's principle bernoulli's principle simply says as the velocity of fluid or air increases its internal pressure decreases one way you can visualize this principle is to imagine air flowing through a tube that is narrower in the middle than at the ends this type of device is usually called a venturi it is not necessary for air to pass through an enclosed tube for bernoulli's principle to apply any surface that alter air flow causes a venturi effect okay now let's see how bernoulli's principle can describe as the air enters the tube it is traveling at a known velocity and pressure when the air flow enters the narrow portion the velocity increases and the pressure decreases then as the velocity continue through the tube to the wider portion both the velocity and pressure return to their original values okay now uh, this is the tube you can see now this is the tube okay at the middle of the tube you can see the curve so they reduce the diameter so when reduce the diameter it is called just like venturi okay this area is called venturi at the middle of the tube now air is flowing through the tube when the air flow enters to the narrow portion the velocity increase and pressure decrease there are two gauges uh, connected to the uh, entrance of the tube this is the velocity gauge and it is indicating the velocity and this is the pressure gauge and indicating the uh, pressure and you can see this is the low side and this is the high side this is the low side of the pressure gauge and this is the high side of the pressure gauge and two gauges mounted at the uh, venturi area of the tube and other two gauges at the end of the uh, tube you can see velocity gauge and pressure gauge as the air enters the tube it is traveling at a known velocity and pressure when the air flow enters the narrow portion the velocity increases and pressure decreases then as the air flow continues through the tube to the wider portion both the velocity and pressure return to their original value okay this is the venturi area you can see the diameter of the tube is smaller than uh, entrance area at the beginning the pressure and velocity uh, indicating on the pressure gauges and venturi area you can see the needles uh, gone up that means velocity increases and the pressure uh, decreases you can see the needle it become lower compared with other both the ends so that means when air flow moving through the venturi area velocity increases and the pressure 
decreases okay now you can see indication of all uh, pressure and velocity gauges only at the venturi area the pressure gauges needles goes down and velocity gauge needle gone up that means velocity increase and pressure decrease now you can see how venturi effect works on a wing or aeropoil okay now uh, the venturi area of the tube this curved surface i will draw separately like this and then the other part this curve surface i will join to this and then you can see now this is looks aerofoil okay now this both the surface upper and lower having venturi effect as per the tube so in this area velocity increase and pressure decreases so this area this surface over the surface the velocity increase and pressure decrease at the same time the lower portion of the tube also generating velocity increase and pressure decreases so both the surfaces uh, velocity increases and pressure decreases so aeropoil is designed upper surface is greater than the lower surface a yeah, plowing over the top of an aeropoil reaches the trailing edge in the same amount of time as a plowing along the relatively flat bottom things both the upper and lower surfaces pass through a block of air at the same speed the air plowing over the curve surface travel further this means it must go faster resulting in lower pressure above the aeropoil and greater pressure below the aeropoil an aeropoil is specially designed to produce a reaction with the air that passes over it this difference in pressure is the main source of lift okay now you know what is the bernoulli's principle and this bernoulli's principle applying all over the aircraft body okay now when you studying aeronautical engineering you need to know about uh, uh, newton's third law uh, charles law boyle's law and uh, uh, kinetic energy potential energy temperature humidity especially newton's third law for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction that is the newton's third law of motion that is very useful on aircraft thank you for watching see you on next video very soon